Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, continuing the main story quest today, uh, we are about to be inducted into the Grand Company. In this case, uh, the Grand Company of the Immortal Flames of Uldar. So, let's get the show on the road. Welcome back, adventurer. I take General Rauban's words kindled a fire within you. Uh, yes, join the Immortal Flames. Excellent. I fear that the incident with the traitor may have soured your opinion of us. It gladdens me to say that isn't the case. But before we can count you as one of our own, you must be formally inducted into our ranks. Please proceed to the Hall of Flames on Uldar's merchant strip and identify yourself to the personnel officer. I will notify him of your coming. With your strength joint towers, we shall surely prevail over our enemies, be they beastmen or imperials. Okie dokie, so uh, off to Uldar it is. Right, I believe it's on our right as we exit. Yep, there it is. Get a little bit of a sprint going on. And we'll run through the puddle. Puddle? Eh, uh, fountain? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> What brings you to the Hall of Flames this evening, adventurer? Uh... My name is Elric Fandrell. I believe you were expecting me. Ah, I thought as much. You are just as our man at the Waking Sands described. It is an honour to meet you, sir. Now, in order to formalise your... Sir! Speak private. Imperial, sir. They fired on a high wind skyways airship. Scouts say she's coming down to the west near Horizon's Edge. Bloody hells. Of all the times for this to happen. Elric, there's no time for formalities. The Immortal Flames needs your help now. We're in the midst of a large scale operation against the Amal Jar, and we have no one to spare in Western Fanlan. We must get to that ship before the Guardians do. If there are any survivors, say that they do not come to further harm. Now go! Okie doke. Let's check our quest log. Uh, map. Uh, Western Fanland Horizon. Thankfully we've got that uh, location, so we'll just teleport out there to be quick. Right, and here we are now, just approaching the uh, downed airship. <laughs> An adventurer? What are you doing out here? No, wait. Let's find some cover first. The Immortal Flame sent you? How do I know you're not an Imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. Are you alright, sir? Our scouts reported the attack on your craft. We've come to rescue you. Elric Fandral, yes? Glad to have you with us. I have not seen a craft of this design before. That traitor Garland has been busy. Secrets of Magitech are ours by right. They are not to be squandered upon the savages of this land. We are taking this craft back to the fortress. Dismantle it if you must, and bring the engineer. Someone must pay for Garland's crimes. You mean to take the ship back to Castrum Meridianum, along with your friend? 
Wedge, you have to help him. That fool of a lava fell was hiding inside the tiny Bronco. Nice looking ship, though not the best place to have taken shelter, I agree. It's the first airship we've built since the Calamity. The first since Master Garland. Well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first test flight. And she was soaring. She really was. Till those bastards blasted her out of the sky. We attack on my command. Kill them quickly and save the Lalafell if possible. Is that clear, Elric? Show them what becomes of those who play with fire. Charge! We're under attack. Two arms! Right. Give them no quarter, flames. Defend the airship. Kill the savages. Who are you calling a savage, eh? <laughs> This fight is probably going to take quite some time, it seems. <laughs> I get faster dungeon cues as a healer, but we certainly don't get uh, faster combat. <laughs> What are you doing? Kill them, I said. Where's that bloody vanguard? We need it now. Uh, oh, bloody hell. This doesn't look uh, too good. I <laughs> uh, hope that flame gladiator's going to be okay. He's taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Actually, quite a few, my guys. The Falmaturge as well. Uh, let's see if we can't top them up. Can we get them targeted? There we go. So much damage. My heels are stripping to keep up. <laughs> And Flame Gladiator oh, needs some as well. Oh boy. This is super painful trying to keep these guys alive. <laughs> oh wait, no, I don't want to heal the enemy. I want to heal the Falmater if I can get him. No dying on my watch, please. <laughs> well, that would explain uh, why they're taking so much damage, because uh, they keep on getting poisoned. And I only just now noticed it for the transit of them. Oh, we're going to lose the Falmaturge, it looks like. Nope, oh, he's gone. Uh, are we even going to be able to do this without <laughs> him? I'm up again. This is uh, not looking too good. Oh, and we've run out of mana uh, potion. I thought we had the ethers. Ah! <laughs> right, now it's just the uh, vanguard to be taken out. Alright, looks like we're almost done. And... There he... goes. Biggs! Wedge, you shouldn't have stayed with the ship. Th that was a close one. Too damn close. So, how she look anyway? The auxiliary propeller is a dead loss, but I think we can wring enough thrust from the main propeller to get us airborne. A few minor modifications and we should be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. The Imperials will come looking for their scouts, but we can defend this position until the engineers leave. You should go, Elric. You still have unfinished business to attend to at the Hall of Flames. You're not quite one of us yet, though anyone who'd seen you in action today would be forgiven for thinking otherwise. I, um, just want to say sorry, you know, for calling you an Imperial spy and all that. Got that one wrong, didn't I? Haha. <laughs> Seriously, though, if it hadn't been for you and the Immortal Flames lads there, we'd be chained up in a dungeon by now. I mean, your dead friend, we both are. Wedge. Thank you. We're very grateful. <laughs> right, uh, back to Uldar and the Hall of Flames.
Welcome back, Alaric. Word of your deeds in the field reached me not long ago. Exemplary service. Rest assured that the Garlandine works engineers are fine. They were able to get their vessel back in the air before Imperial reinforcements arrived. Your willingness to assist us on such short notice is to be commended. Clearly, your reputation is well deserved. Now then, I believe we have some unfinished business. Shall we continue from where we left off and induct you into the immortal flames? Yes, please. Uh, 300 flame seals, that's uh, a faction currency, which is obviously is uh, for the grand companies. In this case, the immortal flames. Are you ready, Elric? Then let us begin. Elric Fandrell, you stand poised to enter a sacred trust. Flames of Uldar burn bright, casting light where there is dark, and purging evil wheresoever it lurks. We are ever ready to meet the nation's enemies in battle, be they beastmen, guardians, or worse. And at a word from Flame General Rauban Aldin, we would gladly lay down our lives to maintain the peace and prosperity of Uldar. To join our ranks, you must forsake all of the nations. Only then may you commit yourself to the fire and be reborn as an immortal flame. Burn as one of us, Elric Fandrell, and together we shall chase the darkness from Uldar. Will you swear an oath to mark this occasion? Uh... Okay, my sword belongs to Uldar. Spoken like a soldier. You'll do well here. Very well. Your resolve is plain. Elric Fandra, I hereby confer upon you the rank of Flame Private, Third Class. Welcome to the Immortal Flames, Private. May you fight to the last for coin and country. Can you hear me, Elric? This is Minfilia. An officer of the Immortal Flames contact me with news of your enlistment. My congratulations, Private Fandrell. I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay visit to your old ones first. Remember though you are now a flame of Uldar, you are no less a scion. Pre return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. There are some friends here whom I would very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. It seems your presence is required elsewhere. Before you leave, perhaps you could find a moment to speak with Commander Swift. He is not one to see new recruits go into the field unprepared. You may now accept the quest My Little Chocobo Immortal Flames by speaking with Swift. This quest must be complete in order to proceed to the end of the main scenario for A Realm Reborn. You are now a member of a Grand Company and have been assigned the rank of Private Third Class. Your Grand Company and rank can be confirmed at any time under the Profile tab in the Character Interface under Character in the Main Menu. Uh, grand Companies pay their members not in Gil but in Company Seals. You can confirm how many Seals are currently in your possession under the Currency in the Main Menu. Seals can be earned by completing various Grand Company missions. Grand Company Quartermaster is stationed at each Grand Company Headquarters and will exchange items for Company Seals. Company Seals are only redeemable with the Grand Company that issued them. The Grand Companies of Eosia are in constant need of supplies and provisions to maintain their daily operations. Adventurers can earn experience points and Company Seals by crafting or gathering the items required and delivering them. Speak to a Grand Company Personnel Officer or one of the many officers stationed throughout the realm to complete the delivery. Items sought change each day. Uh, they can be confirmed by selecting timers located under duty in the main menu. So yeah, just a way of earning uh, currency with the uh, Grand Company. Doing uh, various crafting rules and uh, combat rules and whatnot. For to, uh, well, gain currency to buy the unique items that each faction has available for them. Well, each faction with regards to the Grand Companies, of course. 
Right, uh, now we finally get to start the quest to uh, get our own Chocobo mount. Yay! <laughs> Private Fandrel, yes? A moment of your time, if you please. You wish to carry out your duty swiftly, do you not? Well then, perhaps you should get yourself a Chocobo. If you're interested, the Immortal Flames will furnish you with one. It's not a complex process, but it does require some paperwork. First, speak with the Quartermaster to obtain a Flame Chocobo issuance. You'll need to exchange company seals in order to do so. Once you've received your issuance, show it to Mimigun. Show it to Mimigun by the Gate of Nald. He'll be the one to furnish you with a bird. Okie doke. So, uh, to Mimigun straight over there then. Right. Uh... We went to the wrong location. I think we... Wait, level 20? But I am level 20. Um, what's going on here? You must present me me. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, so I was right. You do need to speak with the guy at the uh, Hall of Flames first before I can... Uh before I can go straight to the quest objective. <laughs> well met, I am an OIC Quartermaster, affiliated with the Immortal Flames, and it is my duty to provide those three companies who have pledged their allegiance to our grand company with the opportunity to purchase various enchantments and items which will benefit their members. I say, have you ever considered joining the free company? If not, might I suggest you do so? A whole new world will open. Uh, that's fine, but I'd like to see your goods, please. Um... Why are you not letting me see your goods? Oh wait, hang on. Flame Quartermaster. Right, uh, what is that? my material? Is it material or materials, perhaps? Right, Flame Captain. We haven't got any of those ranks. We must be under here. And where is the Chocobo issuance? Uh, ah, there it is. Flame Chocobo issuance. Uh, insufficient seals. Uh, Finding country. Alright, once we do that back in the waiting sands, we'll get the currency that we need to claim our uh, Jacobo. Right. So we're uh, using another Ephraite ticket and get our butt over to the waking sands. Welcome back, Elric. Lady Minfilia awaits you within. I complete that. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know? Why the recruitment officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroes. Pride in his voice was palpable. We Scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Elric. Now, when last we spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met. Tataru, please show them in. This way, sirs. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. Uh, and I... I... God's man, spit it out, will you? W Wedge, at your service! I am pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions, such as airships, grow ever more vital at the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we Scions should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we need the knowledge of experts and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea, and I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with your wall and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfilment, such happiness. Right, um, before we start the next main story quest, I think we're going to head back to Uldar and claim our uh, Chocobo 
and then we'll probably call an episode after that and speak with the flame quartermaster uh materials yeah there it was uh flame jacobo issuance Three, uh 200 seals even got 300 from the uh quest right uh mimigun what a bird issue do you say and i'll leave to see your flame jacobo wish wins uh present the steed of the immortal flames company stables to receive your own jacobo Yes, everything appears to be in order. Moment, please. I'll be right back with your Chocobo. And here he is. The fellow has been in high spirits in the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, you'll want to give your noble steed a name. Right, uh, let's see, we shall try and go with uh, Alphonse, and we've missed the H. There we go. Right, a uh, little bit of finishing up. <laughs> I dare say he likes his name. He has your very own Chikubo whistle. Simply blow into it and your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoned in crowded city areas or monster infested lairs. Chocobos are stout hearted creatures but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with your Chocobo Rider's license as is required by law. And that concludes all the formalities. I wish you and your Chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. You can use a Chocobo whistle to acquire the action to summon your personal Chocobo. Unlike rental Chocobos, there's no time limit regulating how long you may remain on Chocobo, Choc Chocoback. Remember, however, there are areas such as highly populated cities and narrow dungeons that your Chocobo will, re will refuse to enter. The action to summon your Chocobo can be set to your hotbar and is located within your mount guide found in the characters in the main menu. There it is, and mount guide. Okay, it's not accessible yet for some reason. Oh, probably because I haven't earned the uh, whistle there uh, thing yet. Right, Jacobo armor or barding can be equipped with the companion interface situated in character, selection, character section of the main menu. Right, so uh, open up our inventory. Uh, use the whistle. A small hand carved whistle that emits a unique high pitched tone discernible only by a Chocobo trained from birth to recognize and respond to the sound. Use to summon your personal Chocobo. Right, so we've learnt that. Then we go character, mount guide, and just drag it onto our bar so that we can use it. Anyway, uh, we're overrunning now, I believe, so we'll see you guys next time.